Hello friends, I'm Chi here. Today I bring you good news, man. Especially those of you who are in the camp and out of the camp. Because if you are in the camp, you will surely need a lawyer one day because these people, when they play your tricks, play their tricks as usual and give you that negative, definitely you will need a lawyer. And you will not like to spend money because you don't even have the money. Now there's free lawyer you can access. I'm telling you, there's free lawyer. They speak English, especially, you know, when you go to meet this lawyer, some of them don't speak English. So sometimes they misunderstand you, man, and you still get errors in your appeal and the rest of them because lack of you know the language barrier thing so this they speak english arabic and french also italian if you can understand italian too so now who can here okay also foreigners if you are listening yeah foreigners they can also assist you man all right and also i'll be telling you the specific date you should look out for for the payment of this rate emergency and why you should start putting your applications to work especially that one you normally use to check your balances yeah okay if you're here for the first time, why don't you subscribe? Because here you get information like this. I'll keep you informed and updated because information is power and key to every man's life, man. Because what you know, you know, and what you know, you don't know. And the day you know, the day you know is the day you know. Yeah. All right. To my friends who have already subscribed, thank you all. You guys are wonderful. Remember to share to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, and you who is watching, I believe after now you will subscribe. Thank you very much. All right. Moving straight. You see, in Nigeria, they have said that from next year, cars have to be converted to what gas, start using gas, no, lo no longer fuel, you know, which is going to cost money. You know, making things that are not priority to be priority, this is not a problem of that country for now. Now we are facing hairsmen, killer hairsmen, uh, kidnapping, terrorism, Boko Haram, you know, everything, police brutality, you know, all those things. This is the things they should tackle for now. Corruption, poverty, um, poor health care, name them. Nothing is working in that country. Everything is just zero. Zero. We're just backward, man. So now, these are the things that should tackle, not forcing people that by next year they should start thinking of converting their cars into using gas. You know, that means they have to change some things in the engine, which is going to cost money. Where, where is the money? People are poor, man. So now, they said that, okay, they are going to, the first 1 million cars, the federal government is going to pay for it. Who knows how they'll be selecting it? Definitely, they'll select their own friends and families. You know, tribalism will still come into play. Their own cars, first of all, they will do it for free and then tell others to go and start paying money to convert these things, man. Ah, you know, when they open a new office, they bring in these people and do a deal and say, hey, we're going to force people to convert their cars. This is our share, man. This is how much you have to give us so that we can make this to work as a law. They said that Nigeria has a lot of gas, you know, so they should start using it now, okay? Uh, at least it will reduce pollution and the rest of them. Now they say that time that it will be costing, gas will be costing 97 uh, Naira a litre. Why they are telling you that now fuel is 168 uh, Naira a litre, which is more expensive. So that is why they are trying to convince people to switch to gas. But what happens when there is no gas in the country? You know, even looking at it, even the power plants that provide an electricity, the uh, PA, CN and whatever the disco, the jenkles, and the rest for them. You see, they usually need gas to produce this electricity. Most of the time, they tell us that there's no gas, that's why they couldn't produce. Talk more of when you now switch to cars using gas. That means when there's no gas, you have to pack your car, start looking for kekena pepe, kekena pepe, and okada, you know, to go to your working place. So that's bullshit, man. They should think of things that would change the country. That one is not a priority, I'm telling you. All right, moving straight. Now, the specific date you should look out for that payment of ready to emergency, sir. you know, look out for on the 17th, I'm telling you 17th of this month, 17th, not just far away, I think sometime next week, 17th, uh, also on the 18th and 27th, these dates, you should look out for it. So those of you who your own payment come automatically, check out for on the 17th. And those of you who applied lately, check out from 15th. 18 and 27 yeah i'll tell you this for real so please look out for those time okay also putting your panko poster or poster pay evolution or poster pay application into use you know now india you see um, um kodiche um cashback you know there you click and you see selection if you have three cards four cards in there even your ready to <clears throat> ready to cheetah dinasa card even your card acoustic card you see the the account numbers there which is turned off so you have to turn the one you prefer the one you normally use to do your shopping turn it on whether it's ready to cheat an answer or kata acoustic or your normal card you normally use for shopping turn any of them on and then 
you know put the iban everything switch it on whatever you buy you get some percentage this one is from you know the um, banks you know the pasta pay also check out with your banks if you are using banks okay all right one thing i would like to let you know is those of you who normally switch regions when you get your document you see one problem is that when people switch region when they go to the new city where they are to renew their document they normally face problem especially those having documents like subsidiary protection special you know those kind of document at the end questura will send it to the territorial commission and then the territorial commission will revoke it and say no revoked revoked sometimes they call you back for another commission you know because you change region you realize that when you're in your former region your city you might renew these things without stress but the moment you switch it's a problem i don't know why it happens like that is it because questura don't have your the new questura where you have changed your region to don't have your information or they are doubting why you left there maybe you are running away from something i don't know but it happens to a lot of people so they will tell you to bring a hell of things, man. There are some documents you have to bring, like your recognition of refugee or the court judgment or your uh, also your passport, also your um, work contract and your pay slip, like your booster paga or your code, all those things. And also certificates from the patronage, you know, patronage. A lot of things are paying some kind of fee of 90 something euro. So this is it. When you provide these things, surely somehow they release those documents. But... I will be urging you when you want to renew i think it's better you try to go back to your former city uh where you got this document and renew it without stress man because a lot of people have passed through this thing even one guy almost got deported because of this and his lawyer deceived him say let's go to questura they'll give you back your document on going there they asked him to sign just as somebody told him hey what you're signing is your deportation uh letter you know so he refused to sign only that his wife came with children and with another lawyer. The other lawyer ran away. So this other lawyer now said, hey, he has a child. Why can't you send him away? You can't separate families. You know, Italy respects family a lot. I'm telling you, they respect family. So because of that, Quensura have to not print him and give him motivo the familiar document. Tell him, hey, come and look for a job and take care of your children. You know, though they are not married in the commune, but the children saved him this time around. So please download the Google Translator so that whenever you are to sign anything, please just take a photo of it. You know, you see the place written image. Click on the image in the application. It will take you to import where you can say import from gallery. Uh, depending on the phone you are using, you see import from gallery. Select there. You see the photos, you know, you see the photo you just took and then take it then it will translate it then click all details it will translate everything to english to you so that you understand what you're about to sign most people have signed their deportation letter without even knowing i'm telling you they are back home now crying they never knew so please don't fall a victim of that okay okay all right so i hope you have taken note tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody not don't just keep it to yourself that's a problem we are having here as a migrant in europe and elsewhere all over the world we try to hide information that will benefit others we keep it to ourselves for what reason imagine if the people who have been here for 40 years 45 years 30 years those people who were here before us have been giving us information sharing information with us will not be stuck will not be having problems will not be you know you know facing challenges that much because when you have information i'm telling you loaded you know your right your left and right i'm telling you so imagine without information you're just like an illiterate i'm telling you you have no difference with an illiterate in europe you're just like a moron you know <laughs> no information so information is good okay share information with your neighbor your friend okay even if person is your enemy love your enemy as yourself man i'm telling you that enemy will end up appreciating remembering that one day you helped all right let's go straight to the last one you see free lawyers is very important because we migrants we don't have that money that those lawyers normally demand some lawyers demand 1500 euro 800 euro 700 euro 500 euro and most of us don't have it how much do they pay in the camp how much do they pay do they want us to go and do it some illegalities you know some criminal things to get this money to pay them the suckers dry man these lawyers are cashing big on us to the bank so because we don't have this money some will go to do shorty you know shorty shorty you know porta porta to get this money to pay this lawyer this is not good man so now there's these free lawyers you know association of uh the the their kind of association that render legal services you'll be wondering would i pay them no you will not pay them they um uh, they get their money from individuals who donate to them, you know, help them, you know, and also organizations elsewhere, different places all over the world normally pay them, give them this money to help people like you and I to carry out these services on your behalf. They pay this money. So that is why if you need a lawyer, they speak English, so you don't have problem. They speak Arabic, they speak French, also Italian, okay? So they are at your service to help you. If you're having uh, your appeal, you need a lawyer, 
is they are there for you. You want to seek asylum, they are there for you. If you are facing deportation, expulsion, they are, be, they are giving you the expulsion letter, which you have 30 days to appeal it. You, you, they are there for you. Any kind of challenges, whether your rights have been trampled upon, you know, um, you know what you are supposed to get you didn't get it you know discrimination you are facing it what others got you couldn't get it you couldn't get spra you know all these things they are there for you any kind of challenges you are facing as a migrant you know those difficulties you know to renew document to book appointment to read a particular letter from this and that or you want to switch your lawyer they are just there for you just name it just name it even booking even maybe you miss your commission they, they can also help you to fix it you know many issues you know help you communicate with the questora so they're just there to just carry out these jobs for migrants for people like you and i seeking asylum you know, whether you're in the camp or you're already out of camp, in any way you need a lawyer service. Maybe you apply for certain bonuses for your baby and they denied you. This is opportunity too. You can call on them and they will assist you to fight for your right. They're just there to fight for you, fight this case out for you to win. So most of you deny, were denied many bonuses for your babies, maternita and the rest of them, you know. So now you'll be asking, what is your phone number? Their number is just... Right away, I'll tell you, 0258102599. I'll go slowly this time around. 0258102599. The last time, 0258102599, okay? Now, they are situated in Milano, in the heart of Milano, okay? Founded in the year 1987, you see? This is their job to help migrants free, free of charge. Okay, now uh, they help only people within the region of Lombardia, Lombardia region, and other cities closer to Lombardia. So if you're not in Lombardia region, uh, they can't really do much for you. They can't help you. Okay, uh, please, they can't help you. So you don't bother to call them if you're not in the region of Lombardia or a city closer to Lombardia. Please, okay. So they are called Naga, 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 N A G A, Naga. Okay, the Association of Lawyers that help to help migrants to carry out legal, legal, you know, those facing need a lawyer for legal issues. They are there for you. Whether you want to convert your document or citizenship and they're about having problems with those things, they will help you, okay? All right, tell me what you think in the comment section. Please, if you're not in Lombardia, don't try calling them, okay? It's just for people within Lombardia and cities around there. Armin, yours truly, Chi, okay? Just show me love by liking my video, share to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, and subscribe, press the bell. I'm signing out now. I'm Chi, ciao.